Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. And we're gonna be looking at the past, present, future energies for you regarding love and a little bit about your energies and this other person's energy that you might have been dealing with already or will be dealing with in the future. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Libra, spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Libra regarding love? Now this reading is for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind for Libra. So we're going to know regarding love and relationships for Libra. Let's start with what's going on in your connection. What are the energies between Libra and this person that they are connecting with or thinking about at this time? Spare, what's going on in this connection? Oh, I got two. Seven of Cups reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Hmm, something's not really working, but I'm, Seven of Cups reverse is kind of telling me that someone could have made a mistake and it's leading to the connection not really getting off the ground here or something just isn't working out right now. What else? Page of Swords. Information, communication, talking honestly with each other. I feel like you're talking things out or trying to understand what's happening. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here for Libra? Four of Swords. Okay. Why is the Page of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Page of Swords here? Yeah, I feel like you're trying to work on things. King of Cups, Four of Swords. Maybe you're trying to share your emotions, how you feel, or vice versa. They're trying to do this. Um, and I feel like it's somebody that either wants to heal this connection or just wants to have peace, um, stability again. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Six of Swords. Okay. So someone could have, um, there could have been some sort of departure or someone's considering this. Maybe because something isn't working. Someone's thinking, well, what else is out there for me? Or I don't need to be here anymore or stay here anymore. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups? Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's been difficult because I think that um, there's trust issues between you and this person. I don't know why, I don't know what happened specifically. It's gonna be different for all of you, but I feel like it's caused someone to kind of be defensive or guarded. Um, maybe someone feels like, well, I, I don't really trust what this person says or does anymore now that I know this or that. But for those of you that are in this type of a connection right now or are dealing with difficulties in your connection right now, I feel like someone's going to at least try to talk about it. Um, someone's probably going to want to discuss how to improve things, how to change things. Um, and this could be after maybe there's a pause in communication because the Four of Swords is here. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, um, but I feel like when I see the King of, of Cups with the Page of Swords, I think about someone being open and uh, honest emotionally. Um, so let's see uh, how you are thinking, feeling about each other. What are the energies between you and this person? Now, Libra, I'm going to have your energies on one side and your person's energies on the other. Feel free to switch the energies, flip them if they resonate more. Spirit, tell me about Libra's energies in this connection. What do we need to know about Libra's energies in this connection? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, what else? Well, Libra, I feel like you're very serious. When it comes to love right now, you're thinking in serious terms. You don't want to play around. You don't want wishy-washy. You, you know, even if it takes time to build something, yeah, Six of Wands. Even if it takes time to build something, you want it to, you only want to spend time on something that has the potential to be successful. I feel like you're thinking about things in a, in a more serious way. Um, you're not interested in games. You're not interested in trust issues. You're not interested in not knowing where you stand. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. What else? What else for Libra? 
I'm also getting that some of you are probably investing in yourselves, um, whether it is going to school, taking certifications, um, working on your finances. Um, like I feel like some of you have gone through some sort of glowing up, two of pentacles. And I think it's, it's caused you to kind of shift your energy. It's almost like you've put in work in yourself or you've been working on yourself and you're wondering, well, why can't so-and-so do it too, you know? Why can't I have someone meet me at my level? I think you go back and forth with the Two of Pentacles. Let's see what this is about. Weighing your options. Maybe um, one day you think a certain way about love or this person and another way you kind of... Your mind has changed or you see things from a different angle. Let's see what this Two of Pentacles is about. This could also be you having a lot on your plate. Okay, so we have, yeah, Ace of Wands and Two of Cups Reverse. So I'm getting like two very different energies here. Maybe one on one in, in, on one hand, you think this connection can't improve, can't be what it was. And on another hand, you're probably thinking, well, maybe we could have a new start. Some of you could be debating whether to stay or go. Um, and I think it's because you, you are becoming more successful or you have uh, learned or grown recently. I think it's kind of changing your perspective. Can I get some insight into the person Libra is dealing with or thinking about at this time? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Seven of Pentacles, okay. Okay. Lovers reverse. Yeah, there was definitely some, there's definitely a disconnect here. Gemini energy between you and this person. There could have been a separation that already took place or is, you know, taking place now or will be taking place in the near future. Can I get some more insight into this other person? Eight of Cups, yeah. I think either you walked away or this person needed to walk away from something in order for you to be together. Um, because I think there's a huge disconnect. Um, I think this person's probably waiting for something. What's the Seven of Pentacles about? Because in, I, initially I was thinking this was someone that wanted to invest in you, in this connection, take their time. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that's just not doing anything, the hangman. So they've been waiting around, making decisions, or probably saying they're going to do something, but not actually doing something. Oh, wow, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. I really hope this person... I mean, they could be in a commitment, but I think also... If they're not in a commitment, this is someone that cares how they're seen. They care about appearing a certain way and it's affecting their choices. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. What's this Eight of Cups about? High Priestess Reverse. So something must have come out, been revealed, or um, someone spoke up, opened up in a way. Um, now this Eight of Cups is telling me that maybe with this High Priestess Reverse, it's almost like a cause and effect. Like I'm, I'm seeing that something must have been revealed or expressed or talked about here with the High Priestess Reverse, some sort of secret came to light and someone's walking away or considering walking away. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. So this person's probably picturing you walking away. The Hermit, Virgo energy, yeah. I think you distance yourself from this person. You could have cut off communication. You could be telling this person, I just want to be alone. I want to do my own thing, or this is what this person thinks that's what you're thinking. Oops. Maybe Libra really is going to leave. And I think that's why they're willing to talk about things. Please ignore my dog. <laughs> we moved somewhere new and he wants to respond to every single noise imaginable. A lot of major arcanas here, which are telling me you know, major shifts in energy, major shakeups. And over here, you don't have any. So I think this person is almost like they're having a tower moment is kind of what I'm picking up on because of what's happened in your connection. They're being affected by it a lot more than you. Maybe you already went through that and now it's like, I'm ready for something else. Yeah, Queen of Swords Reverse. I feel like you cut this person off you you and and if, let's say you're still talking to this person you're not talking to them the same way you were before there's there's like probably an emotional distance there or you're not nice 
That's kind of what I'm picking up here. So let's see if we can get some insight with some oracle cards here. Spirit. Can we get some insight, please, in the energies between Libra and this other person? What do we need to know about Libra and this other person? What are they thinking? Tell me about Libra's energies. Tell me about Libra's energies. What do we need to know about Libra's energies? Difficult decision. What do we need to know about Libra's energies? What do we need to know about Libra's energies? Tied up. Some of you are having a hard time making a decision to become unstuck from someone. This could be someone from the past or someone you're dealing with now, but this is hard for you. Yeah, I think um, the hard, the harsh truth, Libra, is being tied up to this attachment, being um, shackled to this attachment. It's just preventing you from growth. I think you already know this, though. I think I think you already know. You have what it takes to have something very abundant, very beautiful on your own. I don't even think you need anybody else. And I think you're discovering your worth, but it's hard still to completely disassociate yourself from this tell me about the person libra is dealing with or thinking about tell me about the person libra is thinking or connecting with no what do we need to know about this other person yeah this person's hoping for success taking action victory lap they're hoping they can turn things around or you know fix this heal this yeah this is their their, their desire their wish is to um, have success with you. Let's see what we can get. Put Cooper deck for both of you. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about the energies between Libra and this person? Tell me more about Libra. courthouse and toil and labor yeah i think you're making a final decision you're at you're at the precipice is is basically like you're the and you're the one calling the shots i also think you put a lot into this yeah and this person's just waiting for your decision yeah they're they're at your mercy basically is what i'm seeing here can we get some insight into this person that libra is dealing with what do we need to know about this person's intentions what do we need to know about them their intentions personality is dealing with what do we need to know about them or their intentions air sign grounded gemini libra aquarius energy um again i'm getting like page of swords here with the four of swords so i feel like this is someone that's trying to handle things in a way that you would be receptive so uh, wow, what a terrible sentence, but <laughs> it's almost like they're trying to find the way to make sure you listen and are receptive to what they want to say and what they want to do. And so they're going to try to appear in a certain way to get your attention is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Any next actions for this person? What will the next actions be towards Libra, towards this connection? What do we need to know about this person's next actions towards Libra spirit? What do we need to know about this person's next actions? Three of Pentacles, yeah. What do we need to know about this person's next actions towards Libra, towards this connection? Five of Pentacles reverse. This person, all they want is to prove to you or work on things. So like they want to prove to you that they're willing to work on things or this is how they think they can solve this. I'm just going to show Libra that I am serious about us or I want to show Libra that I mean what I say or I want to show Libra that I'm willing to put in the work necessary. Yeah. Because they're having regrets now. They're sad. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles reverse. You know, this is somebody that perhaps they, you know, they're they're not reacting well to the fact that you've changed, or they're not reacting well to the fact that you are um, wanting to be on your own or free of them. I think if you haven't talked to them about this, they can sense it. 
Um, if you have talked to them about this, you freaked them out. Um, I think, unfortunately, from what I see here though, I think that whatever happened between you and this person, it was a long time, you know, in development. So how do I put this in a way that makes sense? So this was not a short fling. This was not a really quick relationship. I feel like you've been tied to this person for a really long time. And unfortunately, that's working against them because I think you've probably given this person chances before. I think you've tried to fix things before. I think these problems have persisted in your connection, whatever these problems are, because again, they'll be different for all of you. And I think it, it, it's gotten to the point where you are beyond done or you have realized, you know, the writing's on the wall. You know that there's not much else you can really do here. And so it's almost like the fact that your relationship is so long or so much has happened in that relationship, it's working against this person. Can I get one more for Libra's energies? Can I get one more for Libra's energies in this connection? Three of Cups. Oh, can I get one more for this? Uh, one more for this Three of Cups. Can I get one more, please, for this Three of Cups? Yeah, King of Pentacles reverse. This person cannot give you what you need. And I also feel like thinking about the good times is not enough. Let me get a stellar soulmate oracle for both of you. Can I get one more please? One more card for both Libra and this person. Tell me about Libra's energy. Okay, I said, tell me about Libra and all of these wanted to come out. I'm just going to take these three. You have taught me so much. I have waited a lifetime to, for you and I compare everyone I meet to you. I have been living in denial. So I feel you've taught me so much and I've waited a lifetime for you. I don't think of those positively. <laughs> uh, I feel like that you're comparing this person to other people, but not in a good way. I feel like this person has become a lesson to you, not your lifelong love, Libra. And I hate saying that because, you know, sometimes we really do believe in the good in people. We want to give people the benefit of the doubt. But for the Libras that I'm talking to, you're not in that headspace. If you are a Libra watching this and you know that you want to work on things with your person and you want to keep forgiving them or you feel like there's still salvage, uh, potential to salvage this connection, I don't think this reading is necessarily for you. Tell me about the person Libra is thinking about dealing with. What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know? I often wonder to myself if it's too late. Yeah. I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Yeah, this person is having regrets. Bottom of the deck, I am determined to make things right. Yeah, they're focused on how can I fix this? How can I, you know, turn back the clock? Um, but I often wonder to myself if it's too late. I think they know deep down. Like maybe they ran out of all their chances. Who knows? So that's what I have for you, Libra. I'm sorry it's not a more... Um, uplifting, positive reading, but I feel like these are necessary because tarot is reflective of real life and the truth that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I feel like for a lot of Libras that are watching my channel right now, this is kind of what you're dealing with. If I go by the comments on previous videos, this